All right, it's time to get back to the roots, if you will. Um, I haven't done an e-bike review in a while. Um, I actually have a couple more on the way. Uh, I've been talking to a couple people, a couple more e-bikes on the way that we'll take a look at in the future. But today is all about the Natco Folding Ox e-bike. Now, first I want to start with Natco as a brand and just talk about it briefly. Now, what I would consider them is... And I've done two reviews already, so I'll, I'll have those linked and you could take a look. Um, this is the third Natco bike that I'll have on my channel. And my overall like um, uh, thesis statement of Natco is they're actually a pretty good intro brand. I think it's it should be everyone's first e-bike, especially if you are just like kind of wavering of like, I don't know if I'll do it a ton. It's the perfect line of functionality. You're going to get the full e-bike experience and you're also going to be able to like not feel like you wasted a ton of money if you end up not riding a lot. So that's why I think they, they serve that perfect like intro e-bike brand. Um, and, and you know, the bikes are decent quality for the most part, obviously not like top, top tier, but you're not paying for top tier. So again, a, a great intro bike. They've got a lot of, uh, selection and styles. Um, you, like you've seen, I'll pop them on the screen right now. That's Natco as a brand. And now let's talk about this specific model. Now this is called the folding ox. And if you've been looking for a folding e-bike, this one looks like a lot of the other ones. It shares a lot of the similar like framing and parts and, and price point. So what sets this one apart? That's going to be the main goal of this video is like for this price, about a thousand one hundred or maybe just a thousand. I, I don't know exactly, but about uh, around a thousand dollars. There's a lot of folding bikes in that price range. So what does this have that the others don't and does it stack up with some of the other thousand dollar folding bikes i've used and probably the last thing is is it fun <laughs> is it worth would i pay that is is like the main thing like is that worth it so here's where the little disclaimer comes in um this was given to me by natco i want that very clear um but i promise to just give you my honest opinion um as i have for all these other uh e-bike reviews so let's dive in let's uh get this thing open and see what it can do so i'm excited to take a look let's do it Thank you, honey. Okay, we got everything unpacked here. Let's just take a look at the packing list here. I First of all, I'm very excited about this. He's got some pretty beefy tires that I'm excited to use. Um, this rack, I'm really impressed with. It's uh, solid. I thought it was like going to be plastic or something. It's really nice. Um, this is a really nice bulky kickstand. Like... The parts on here, if I'm being fully transparent, I wasn't expecting this quality. Um, again, it could be better. It's still in that budget, uh, chipped from China kind of quality overall. Like, I mean, the crank here is basic, <laughs> you know, like there, there's definitely some parts that are just kind of average, but there's a lot of p more parts that are good than are bad is what I'm getting at. So again, if we just take a quick look at what came in the box, um, really not a lot of assembly here so this is the main unit which uh, we'll just have to attach the handlebars here and then we have the front wheel which we'll add on a front fender and then finally is the seat and I really like this seat first of all it does come on rails so you can switch it out if needed um, and it has this nice little uh, button here which lets you open it like that, which lets you access the battery there. If you remember my uh, Rattan bike I had, the Rattan folding bike, um, it did not have that. So you had to take this entire thing off to access the battery, um, which was kind of a pain. For the record though, on all my e-bikes, I basically just leave the, the battery in there at all, at all times. So I'll get this built back up and then I'll, I'll check back in here. All right, so we just got everything set up here. Time to go over you know what I like and don't like before I give it a ride. Um, you know what I'm impressed with and what I think could be improved on. So um, I've rode quite a few of these folding ones and there's two I'm gonna compare it to. Um, I'm definitely gonna talk about the Electric XP, a little bit about the 2.0, but I want it known that I've only rode the original XP and not the new 2.0. Um, 
so there's that and then of course the the rat and xp which i've rode quite a bit and like a lot uh, i'm going to talk about that as well so uh headlight pretty standard same as the one i have over on that that rad runner over there um i think it's the exact same light um what else do we got here uh disc brakes just totally decent nothing like extraordinary but then this tire is a beefcake we got a 4.0 tire um for for reference only because i have this bike out um this uh rad runner here only has a three inch or 3.5 inch so bigger tires on this guy certainly bigger than the um the Rattan as well as the electric um, let's move right along here. You know I do apologize. The original electric had these big tires. I would say this is super close to the original. However, you know, this has suspension, and I know that the electric XP, the original doesn't. I know the new one does. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, moving right along, I really like this style of handlebars. Most of these folding bikes has like the unit that like folds down and comes back up. So this guy is pretty easy to remove, but I like this style. It's a little more moped style. Actually, you know, if we look at the Rad Runner over here, it might be the exact same uh, unit there. Very close. Um, so yeah, I'm seeing a lot of similarities between these bikes, even from a back like this looks I'm seeing it now. This ex looks exactly like the Rad Runner Plus now that I think about it. Um, except it folds. It's like copying like the silver and yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, again, I already said how much I like this. Uh, sorry, I'm all over the place, but I'll get to everything here. So really like this rack on here. It's a beefcake. I think it's going to do a great job. Um, again, I like the suspension. Got a little horn on here. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, another thing, the derailleur on this is actually pretty nice. We got a nicer branded tourney. Um, focus on that. Now, traditionally, most of these folding ones have just a generic thing that says Shimano. Honestly, they all work basically fine, but this is a little bit nicer. So, um, one thing I still have to do, I highly recommend you grease everything up. Yeah, this is all just like factory metal, so you're gonna wanna do that if you just bought one of these. Um, same, similar thing I ran into, these pedals were a nightmare to put on. Again, I said how much I like this seat. It's actually real cushiony. Let's go over here. Just for comparison, here's the one that came on that rat and I had. It's night and day, the difference here. And then I'd say it's way better even than this Rad Runner seat that we got. So that's mostly everything. Again, I, I don't know if I mentioned this yet or not, but I really like the new Natco logo that they're going for here with the mountains. It's making this look like a pretty trendy bike. Um, let's turn the headlights on here. What is it doing? I have no idea what that was. I held this current button too long and it just started spinning. That's like a walking mode, I guess. Uh, headlight was double tapping current. I, I was close the first time. Okay, so we got the headlight on. Let's go give it for a quick spin here. I'm excited to give it a try. Stand still here. First of all, first initial little ride here. This thing's got some power. I feel like we're cruising. Okay, so another thing that I like a little bit more than some of my other bikes is I actually really like the thumb throttle instead of having to twist it like all my other e-bikes. I, I don't know. I just think I'm more of a thumb throttle guy. Uh, I have to probably grease it. I feel like it gets stuck a little bit. Oh, it's very touchy too. Ooh. <laughs> um, but that's just something you could easily get used to. Um, but yeah, let's just do like a standstill, like kind of a launch from, from just the throttle here. Ready? And go. A decent amount of torque, honestly.
That was our top speed. It looks like 21. So this is all really like a pretty decent incline here. We're gonna test how it goes uphill. I'm doing throttle only. It is crushing it. I mean, I'm going a little slower for sure, but as far as like torque and just being able to power through, it's it's handling it no problem. I'm a bigger guy too. I would say around 235, 240, and it's it's going right up the hill. I bet someone lighter on this thing can have a dang blast, like a speed demon. Woo! Gorgeous night. I'm actually building my new house in this neighborhood. I'm so excited. I always used to ride my e-bike around here and now I get to live here soon. So can't wait for that. All right, it's getting a little dark out. We're about halfway through my ride. I'll head home soon. I just wanted to pull over and talk about it real quick. One sec. It looks so small on my camera, but I swear this thing's actually pretty big. You know, it's probably the perfect size, really. Any bigger, it'd be annoying. Any smaller, it'd be hard to ride. So it's a pretty great size. Uh, I've already talked about all this stuff. I'm just going to do it again. Um, let's start front to back again. Um, fork, it's really not much, but it's there. It's I mean, you're not going to be taking this thing on trails anyway, so it's going to do a perfect job of, of, you know, this combined with these big old tires it's actually really good like it does more than enough and really really um smooth ride on this guy um braking actually you know there's a, a couple things here that are just my fault for not setting up right like the braking is still a little wonky um that's my only note here is like go over this bike a couple times before you take it on a real ride um like i misalign my uh stem and my uh my headset so it actually is a little crooked from the wheel which is so annoying but that's my fault i just set it up wrong then the brakes too could be a little tighter um and then honestly i don't know what is going on i've never had this exact type of shifter it's driving me nuts again i'll, I'll say this again i really like the thumb the thumb uh throttle versus the twist throttle it's great i like it a lot there's really not much else to go over other than it's a really fun bike. Um, I'll, I'll do like some closing thoughts before I'm done, but you know, the seat's comfy. Like one big perk of this guy is that I don't think it needs any upgrades other than maybe like a storage basket. I couldn't imagine what else you need because it comes with a nice seat. It comes with some suspension. It's got like more than enough speed, I'd say. Uh, I mean, even like if, if you're following e-bike laws, like you legally can't have more speed than what's on this. So um, it really does the job here. I'm, I'm more than impressed. I, I might even, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to ride this next to my Rad Runner, but it's giving it a run for the money. Like the overall look of this thing is pretty sweet too. And then, you know, the one other thing is uh, we, we looked at the throttle a lot and I, I did pedal assist, but I, I didn't have my phone out for that. The pedal assist is great. I think you can have a, a lot of exercise on this because of the different pedal assist levels are actually pretty, um, in good, in pretty good increments. So it could really keep you, um, you, could, you can put a lot of work on the pedals is what I'm saying. And then let, and just use a little motor uh, to get a little bit of exercise too. But personally, I'm all about having fun and just letting this throttle rip. <laughs> it's fun. It's a, it's a lot of fun. All right, let's head home.